3D printing is the type of additive manufacturing. Essentially, if you think about an inkjet printer, printing an image out in two dimensions, it does the same thing except it stacks up all those layers of paper and you end up with a three-dimensional object. The reason we started doing the workshop was to create a platform where others in the fashion industry and other industries could learn about these sort of computationally based design techniques and methods of, of making. The project wasn't to design a garment. The project was to design a method of making form in the computer that could be deployed across the body. So the idea was to produce a landscape of geometric effects, things that would have different material behaviors in different parts of the body. So we have a very compressed period of time to work. It was only three weeks. You know, and a lot of them weren't from a fashion design background and probably weren't ready to engage the body in the way that a fashion designer would. What we could do is we could look at these form finding techniques and collide them with the human figure and start to see what we get. And that was really the objective for the workshop. Well, there's kind of two aspects to this workshop. There's on the one hand, the use of the 3D printing to get um, novel designs or novel forms into production and to try to see, you know, with the MakerBot, uh, make it part of uh, the kind of ongoing design process because of its relative low cost and speed. But the other side is the, the kind of use of 3D scanning of the model to produce something that is, is bespoke every time out. We've, we've learned some of these design techniques and some of this powerful software and 3D printing technology and the goal is to basically integrate them all together. We want to be able to learn this technique that, that some of these designers such as Francis Batanti um, have used and develop new, new uses for this technology. MakerBot provided the 3D printers for the workshop. It turned out to be a really important relationship. The MakerBot provided the students a direct link between the material world. So while they were working with all these complex computer simulations, they were able to get tactile, physical results very quickly through the MakerBot. And because of the MakerWare software, they were able to experiment very freely with how the machine was printing. So a whole nother level of investigation opened up where we could begin to question not just what kind of forms we're 3D printing, but how the printer's actually doing that. Halfway through the project, we brought in some guest critics to give the students feedback and try to help them guide all this research towards the production of a garment. And so we brought in Vito Akanchi from Akanchi Studio, Jonah from Minesi, a fashion label based here in New York City. And we also had representatives from MakerBot, including uh, educators from their staff and material scientists. So the critics chose, they chose two that they liked the best. From one group, they liked the silhouette. And from another, they really that group really developed some really intricate patterning, almost like this very ornamental textile. Those two teams are gonna to work together now to produce a final garment that will be fabricated on the MakerBot and will be worn by a fashion model and, and we're gonna do a, a photo shoot. As a kind of greater cultural and sociological problem, um, as a designer, we are living in a, a context now where we have access to massive quantities of information through sensors, basically collected data sources. So we we're looking for methods which allow us to operate at a finer grain scale without losing our ability as a designer to implement an agenda or the kind of ongoing trajectories within our disciplines. Um, it's very important to me that, you know, the computer is now it's our link to these machines. Um, it's like our new pencil, it's like a paintbrush. It's the way we think now. And it's something that's rarely taught in, in fashion design schools or in design schools in general. And I wanted the workshop to be a place where we could do that.